I'm so sorry, it's the moops. The correct answer is the moops. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 board games that destroy friendships. I am Donald Trump. Sad. Fake game! I was cheated bigly! Her email! Her email! Look at Hillary! For this list, we're looking at the most frustrating board and tabletop games that typically end in curses and angry huffs. Which of these games do you find the most infuriating? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Sorry. Sorry. Slide, switch, and bump your way home before someone makes you. Sorry. The inherent frustration within this game is evident from its very name. So is the objective. Sorry is all about causing as much frustration in the other players as possible, typically by sending their pawns back to the start of the board. The big villain of this game is the Sorry card which allows a player to move their pawn from the starting location and take over a spot occupied by another player. Five. Sorry! This typically results in lots of cursing. And because the game is dictated by cards, there is a very high luck and chance factor inherent within the game. Insincere apologies, losing, and bad luck is just a recipe for disaster. Better luck next time, loser! Number nine. Ultimate Werewolf. This game has a long line of descendants. It's based on the social deduction party game Werewolf, which itself is based on an older game of similar style called Mafia. There's no Mafia. The objective is simple. There's one werewolf who must kill all the villagers while remaining undetected. They're up against the villagers, who must deduce the identity of the werewolf and kill it. It's basically the card game version of Among Us. The game can be very frustrating for those who are not good at bluffing, negotiating, or deducing clues. Poker face, poker face. Yeah, now work on your poker voice. Poker voice. Furthermore, the games can go on forever, and players who are eliminated early have nothing to do but watch the events play out. I guess we can just go home. All right, let's get out of here. Let me just go to the bathroom. It can be frustrating and boring, and that is never a good combination. Number eight, Scrabble. One of the classic board games, Scrabble has been frying brains since 1938. While a point system is attached, the basic premise of Scrabble is making the longest and most complex words from scrambled letters. Holy cannoli. Right off the bat, Akili uses all her letters, getting 50 extra points for a whopping 80. Too. Everyone knows how to play this game, and everyone knows how frustrating it can be. It can also move at a snail's pace, with people doing nothing but staring at the board and thinking. What's more, it can also be infuriating for those who aren't good at word games. Becky with 123, and bringing up the rear, Mark with a personal best of 73. All right! <laughs> Not only will they be decimated by players who are, but they will probably be laughed at for making words like the and of. Plus, calling someone on their made-up word is how friendships end. Shazam. It is a word. It is a word. I've got a pile of comics this big. Captain Marvel says it. It's a nonsense invented word. You don't have me doing that so you can use Z. Take it off. I swear to God. Number seven, Diplomacy. This game has a misleading title because it is anything but diplomatic. A complex war game similar to Risk, diplomacy is all about obtaining and holding territorial power. Just like real-life politics, the game encourages players to make beneficial alliances. An alliance? An alliance. <laughs> <laughs> now get the hell out of here. And like some other board games, it actively encourages its players to betray each other. Mercenaries. And? War. And? Betrayal. And? Romance? The game is certainly strategic, but it's mostly about negotiation and manipulation. Those who are bad at it will find themselves thoroughly stomped, and there's nothing worse than feeling manipulated by your own friend. If a group wishes to remain friends, it's probably best to avoid a game centered around betrayal. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Wait, I missed that. Get him to say it again. Number six. Codenames. A relatively new card game released in 2015, Codenames is all about deducing the identities of secret agents. The name of the Russian agent is Salt. Evelyn Salt. My name is Evelyn Salt. 
Chosen spy masters give one-word clues to their field operatives, and said operatives must deduce the identities of the secret agents from the clues that the spy master provides. Hidden among the potential agents is an assassin, and if accidentally identified, the offending team instantly loses. Hey, Stuart. I don't want to play anymore. It's too much pressure. <laughs> Why? What happened? I, I said too much. As a result, this is a game that can instantly end friendships. Choosing the assassin is an instant fail that can leave your team ticked off, and a poor spy master can cause lots of swearing and yelling. It's all about teamwork, and like anything else, poor teamwork results in poor results. We just have to work as a team. You know what? Yes, you're right. We got this. All we need is each other. Number five, Trivial Pursuit. Remember that episode of Seinfeld where George and Susan go to war with the Bubble Boy over Trivial Pursuit? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Help! Someone! There's no moves, you idiot! Stop it! Let go of him! Donald! Stop it! Now let go of him, Donald! Basically the board game version of Jeopardy, Trivial Pursuit has players answering general knowledge questions to move their pieces around the board. Who's the first United States president to be born in a hospital? Jimmy Carter. The results can be quite messy. Everything moves smoothly until an ambiguous answer is given, in which case all hell breaks loose. The answer giver is mad that it's not being accepted, the doubters are mad that it's even being considered, and everyone's mad that their friendship is quickly deteriorating over the true definition of a marsupial. What is this, you gonna talk down to everyone just because you won a game of Trivial Pursuit? Perhaps. Okay, you know what, fine. You are a genius, Peter. Number four, Pictionary. There's nothing worse than getting a bad Pictionary partner. The concept of this game is simple, resulting in its enduring popularity. Like charades with drawing, Pictionary has one person draw a word or phrase on a board while everyone else tries to guess what it is. It's not a present, it's the present. Look, <laughs> there's you and me, and it's Penny. It's a very easy game, provided there is a good guesser and a good drawer. It's complete anarchy otherwise. Friendships can end in a variety of manners, whether it's poorly guessing well-drawn items or drawing something that bears no resemblance to the answer. Bye, bye, birdie! <laughs> That's a bird? It's either, how is that a lion? Or how did you not guess that it was a lion? There is no in-between. And it causes a lot of yelling and exasperated arm flailing. The last four Meagle Family Pictionary tournaments ended at the hospital. Number three, Catan. One of the most popular board games of our time, Catan is also one of the most maddening. This is what we are. Wool? Sheep! It's not called sheep, it's called wool. Who cares? A resource management game, Catan is all about building an empire. Unfortunately, this often means leaving a few people in the dust, and that's where the frustration sets in. Players attempt to control the board by managing precious resources and trading goods with other players. Forming alliances is a must. But so are things like blocking access to important areas, hoarding resources, and cutting off supplies to other players. I need wood. <laughs> Do either of you fellas have wood? <laughs> Building an empire is a ton of fun. Getting bought out and squashed is a miserable experience, and it often leaves the losers feeling dejected, used, and manipulated. I'm nationally ranked, so it isn't even really fair. Number two, risk. The inherent problem with Risk is that it's too darn long. The board, Jerry. We've been playing at Newman's for six hours, but he's got to go. The game's been around since the 50s, and it has slowly developed a reputation for being incredibly frustrating. Games can last hours or even days, which wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the structure of the game. The winner is often obvious well before the conclusion, and those who are eliminated early have literally nothing to do but watch the game play out. Win the game, and you win the world. Furthermore, the dice carry a degree of random chance, so bad luck can completely ruin a player's game. It all combines into a torturous experience for everyone but the top one or two players, and it results in a lot of bitter resentment towards them. I can't think of this, all this noise! Or is it because I've built a stronghold around Greenland? I've driven you out of Western Europe? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Monopoly 
There's a reason Monopoly has so many house rules, and that's because the core game is an excruciating exercise designed to test both patience and friendships. You're a little light here, Dad. I'm good for the rest, you know I am. Well, I'd like to trust you, Homer, but you've been in jail three times. Monopoly has got to be the most malicious board game ever made. It's all about making an empire of wealth and crushing the little guy into oblivion. One obvious winner gloats while hoarding all the property and forcing everyone else into crushing debt. You know, I just got to... Give me my money! Okay. Uh, uh... That's just not a fun game mechanic, and it results in a lot of hurt feelings and hostile resentment. It's a popular joke that no game of Monopoly is ever finished, but there is a degree of truth to that statement. The bitterness lingers long after the game is put away. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.